Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, Your Lord Chief, the Chief Justice, and Honorable Members of Parliament, I address you with great humility. I thank God Almighty for His grace and the gift of life that has enabled me to witness this day. I congratulate you, Honorable Members, on your election and thank the people of Uganda for the trust they have put in you. I thank you for the confidence you have put in me. I can only promise to do my best to deserve the confidence and trust you have given me. I thank my party, the NRM, for nominating me. And I thank the people of Homoro County, without whom this day would not have been possible. Honorable members, this particular election has been particularly challenging. As a result, expectations are high, fears and uncertainties exist, but together we should build the bridges, mend the relationship, and rebuild friendship, and replace despair with hope. I pledge to provide leadership through this and walk the talk. They actually say, Ribe Ayeteho. We are stronger together. This parliament has the power under Article 79.1 of the Constitution to make laws on any matter for the peace, order, and development and good governance of Uganda. There is no question that my role as speaker will be to execute with utmost diligence the mandate given to me and the Deputy Speaker, who you are about to elect to promote good work in the August House. It is this standard that should apply to all, our, all of us executing whatever assignments we will get as honorable members. Utmost due, due diligence will be the catchphrase. To achieve this, I strongly believe we shall need to adopt some guiding principles on how to effectively deliver on the bigger purpose of parliament in its service to people. The declared mission for us at this moment as the 11th parliament, and in line with the vision 2040, is to deliver Uganda to a middle income status. Every generation has its mission it can either fulfill it or betray it. We are the generation of parliamentarians chosen by God and elected by the people of Uganda and given this task. This parliament, like all parliaments around the world, is the highest legal forum. It is tasked with the responsibility of approving laws, policies, and budgets meant for the implementation of this mission. I therefore humbly suggest some method of work which I found extremely useful in the, execution, in the execution of my previous assignments. One, facing facts. We should agree from the outset that we'll lay facts on the table and use them as a reference point when expressing sometimes very divergent opinions. We must apply evidence-based process of decision-making. Two, reason as a guiding principle. We should agree that we will endeavor to use reason and sound logic in tabling our positions. This will enable us to drive, to derive the correct interpretation from agreed facts. Somebody said we should learn to sharpen our arguments rather than our voices. Three, tolerance and mutual respect. We should agree that no view will be suppressed. All views will be received with tolerance and given fair treatment based on known facts and reason. We must play to overrule intolerance. Four, harmony. We should agree that the monumental task, the task monumental as it may be, if we act in a harmonious way, 